Let's see. Alright. Seems to be. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my playthrough of Mass Effect 2. So, last episode. It's so good to see we finished Shadowbroker here. I'll see you. So, I'm going to take a look around. Hey, it's Glyph. Welcome back, Shadow Broker. What's this? That's the old broker's VI assistant. It's actually been helpful with rebuilding the network. Please let me know if I can organize anything else for you, Shadow Broker. It also thinks anyone in the room is the broker. I'll play around with the settings later. My manual is ready whenever you have a moment. <laughs> Investment opportunities. Wait, smear campaign on who? Ah, I I was just saying aim because I just remember I always did all of them. So da, da, da. research. Okay. I thought there was something I could I could have sworn there was stuff I could afford to do there, but apparently not. Appearance. That's training. Okay. This is Dr. Yes. So Miranda. Extra activity. It's not my share. It's books and subscription for research and fashion. Uh, it's between her and her sister. I believe. Oh no. Let's say welcome to this program thing. Oh, it's a dating site. Is there a criteria for whether someone's dating material or whether they've had medical issues? <laughs> and no poetry! <laughs> Floating medical. Looks clean, yes. Apartment blocked. Is there anything I should. Hmm. Is that you? Yes, don't worry. I made sure everything is secure. It was secure, right. Yeah, good call. How are you settling in? Good. The house is huge. Seems so big for me. How are your studies going? Great. I still don't like genetic theory, but I want to understand everything, you know. Physics and math all seem to breathe by. Your mark in late 20th century Earth history is below the standard deviation. Did you want me to hire a tutor for you? History? No, it's okay. Just not interested, I guess. Ori. What? Fine. Yes. Okay. There's a boy in there. Dinner. Dinner, Gossima? Yes. How did you know that? It doesn't matter. His family owns a series of restaurants on the Citadel. Good academic record. Interested in sports. Broke his leg when he was 14. Um, sure, yes, he's always asking questions in class. I don't think he even knows I'm alive. I see. How do I, you know, get him to notice? Getting him to notice? Yeah, I can help with that. Please. Yes, 
boys. You must be sure to always be true to yourself. I know that sounds like silly advice, but if he isn't interested in the real you, he won't be interested. You have to trust that when things are right, he will notice you. And he will appreciate what you are both inside. You what you are, both inside and out. You can't make yourself into something you are not. Because you will never learn if that special someone falls for you or falls for a lie. Ori, I didn't. Your past, past thing of advice from Dear Dinah column dated two weeks ago. We have the extra bit here as well, sis. God. I didn't make, mean to make you angry. I only. I know, sis. I know. I'm sorry. I just hate all this being here and you're off doing whatever to save the world or whatever. I just hate it. There isn't a point to saving the world if I can't even talk to my sister. I'm sorry. I am. I, now, why don't you tell me about this boy? Yeah, okay, he's different. I hate him already. Randa, I'm your big sister. I'm going to hate all of them, except it. Now, his eye color says blue here. Is that ocean blue or more kind of metal? <laughs> it's for your request for privacy. Moves from database upon confirmation of sent integrity. Well, we cannot firmly attribute the cause of benign neoplasm to the irregularly of, of your genetic makeup, we can confirm that the progressive damage renders you unable to conceive a child. About 12% human women ages 18 to 54 have difficulty getting pregnant or staying pregnant, blah blah blah. Oh, that sucks. I died I only read one of them. Uh, Sounds like a mission log. Oh, more than had issues with Warlock Clan before. Hmm. Wait. Is this? Oh, this is the checking of the. This is the after. When they were checking on things. Or be, uh, before, maybe. Can't call it. Dang it. Time of death. You need to remove body sanitize area. Or can you can we do for something for him? Terrian belief in afterlife involves soul leaving body through eyes. Treatment of courts unimportant by cultural standards. Unless I removed by enemies. Very insulting. But we just lost another patient. Yes, more patients at a time. Impossible to save everyone. Go crazy if you try. So save who you can. Move on. Save more if we hurry. You shouldn't be in here waiting for people to come to us. Oh, this is for when he was in on Omega during the plague. Da 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 da. Forgot that. Is that. <laughs> He was due for a promotion. Just did a lot of digging into history, didn't you? <laughs> and you got banned for excessive 
that's a swearing derogatory comments and inflammatory comments and circumventing work state filters. I'm not surprised by that. And she's into poetry. Oh, this is when they took her. So the shot Turian moves in by the door, ignores my hand signal, and gets straight hit straight through the visor. Oh my. It's like he was expecting slavers to hand out business cards instead of bullets. Was he alright? The Turian? Nah, sniper took his head clean off. Oh dear. Right. And all went to crap after that. We jammed the radio equipment, but the slavers got off a shoulder oh that came back with a bomb. But they were keeping people in that camp. Sure, they can lose some credits, but there's always another civilian transport in the terminus systems. So I'm beginning to realize. What did you do? Got the, got the heck out of there. Go with the captain and the guards like we were hired. I feared the merc flying sh the shuttle wouldn't be dumb enough to blow up his own base once we left. What happened? The blood pack always did like them incredibly gosh darn stupid. He's thinking of retiring. Headshot, headshot, gunshot wounds. Rifle butt fracture to face. Third degree burns to most bodies. Suffocation, headshot, chemical overdose. And cough. <laughs> Called you together to ask something, have report, ask something of you. It's not a small thing, but it's for the best. Rila, Valer, are you receiving this quite well? Mother, we're in a common room. Our communicator's too near the door. Door shuts. Try now, mother. This news will be delivered in person, but I am not allowed to travel before tomorrow. I have something I must do. It is hazardous, and thus I must do it alone. What do you mean ha hazardous? Tomorrow I take the oath of solitude. It is to prepare me for the other oaths. But it means, you what? You what? It's an oath required of all who... I know what it means, brother. I'm 42 years old. I have heard of Justicars. Then, do you understand why I must do it? No. The life of a Justicar is dangerous. I will make enemies, and they would seek to use you. That I understand. But it is not clear why you do this in the first place. Is it not enough that we live a hundred light years away from you in a dank fortress? That we have no communicator of our own, but must use the communal one. Do you know what it means to us to hear your voice? I am sorry, Valer. And now you take that away. That is one wounding, but it is the truth. I wish there were some other path. When you called us instead of coming to see us. If I came to see you, I would never leave. You know what would that, that would mean. Is she that terrible, Mother? Is she so much of a menace that you wouldn't deny us ever seeing you, ever hearing your voice again, my dear? I cannot lose her on the wor lose her on the world and pretend I owe her victims nothing. Her crimes are my crimes, and time you may see it as I do. Time is a weak slave for a fresh wound. Please, do not let anger ruin us. We will have our lives to contemplate the pain and loss. Can we not see from one another's eyes just for a moment? Flair? I don't want to use lose you, mother. Not over someone as small as Marella, or whatever she calls herself now. Marila, you have been silent. Are you in accord? I can only say that I will yearn for you too. Surely you have more than that. Is this the only way you have any righteousness, mother? It will let me live a just life. And the goddess forbid I take it from you. She loves you, mother. She did not say it, but she does. Can you? Can you understand why I must do this? Catch her. Just catch her. Aw. Inventory. <sighs> all right. Well, I'm running out of time for this episode. I don't. Th I can't get through all that. 
So I would just talk to Liara and Farron for the rest of the episode. How are you doing, Liara? I'm a bit overwhelmed, to be honest. The Shadow Broker had more resources than you can imagine. Here. I mean, I've read it all before. He had top-level access to the Turian and Asari governments. And more than one Solarian Dalatros traded intel. And now it's ours. You're not gonna turn into a recluse with creepy information on everyone in the galaxy, are you? I can understand the temptation. I've got all the secrets of the galaxy at my fingertips. Give me ten minutes and I could start a war. But I've got a purpose. Helping you stop the Reapers. That will keep me honest. You know, relatively speaking. If you're in over your head, you could just crash this thing and walk away. That's just it. In a way, I feel like I belong here. Working on my own, I was always hunting for leads. With the Shadow Broker's resources, it's about organizing, cataloging. I've got everything, Shepard. This is a dream job. Although, the location could be better. Have you found anything useful yet? The Shadow Broker knew about the Reapers. Perhaps that's why he offered to help prove Saren's guilt to the Council. He didn't want Saren to succeed. He also knew that the Collectors were Protheans, repurposed to be Harbinger's puppets. There's even some data on the Protheans. I think he knew what was coming and was looking for a way to survive. Why was he still looking at Protheans? They gave us the warrant we had the conduit at Island, but we've used those. The Shadow Broker seemed to think there was more out there. Perhaps the Protheans had other plans. Or maybe he was just grasping at anything that offered some hope. How'd you know what the Shadow Broker was? I didn't. I had no idea what to expect when we finally found him. But I researched pre-space flight cultures during some of my Prothean studies. I know a bit about the Yogg. There's more on the terminals if you want to look. They're a fascinating culture, and a terrifying one. How's Farron doing? As well as you'd expect, after two years of intermittent torture. You gonna be okay? I don't know. He wants to work, so I'm letting him help. Maybe it takes his mind off it. So... You and Farron? No. He's been through a traumatic ordeal. He's emotionally fragile and needs to heal. He's very grateful to me for saving him. But it would be irresponsible of me to take advantage of that. It was good talking with you, Liara. Let me know if you need anything. I think what I need right now is a friend. I can't leave for too long, but spending all my time on this ship... Maybe next time you come by, I could... Come up to the Normandy. That sounds right great. now. Why don't you come up now? Okay, thanks. I'll be right there. Just give me a minute. Why did those expressions seem like I'm romancing her? I'm not romancing her. Did you enjoy the tour? Yes, it's a beautiful ship. And I ran into Joker. He seemed happy to see me. Although, he did ask if I'd embraced eternity lately. <laughs> of course he did. I also spoke with Dr. Chalkwaz. I'm glad she's doing well. I brought you something. It took some digging, but... I recovered your tags. I thought I'd never see these again. They changed hands more than once. Do you remember Admiral Hackett? He gave them to me so I could return them to you. He sent his best and hopes you're okay. So, how are you doing, Shepard? I mean, really. Not what you tell your squad to keep morale up. Between you and me, I have no idea how we're gonna do this. I'm doing everything I can, but... You've done more than most. 
There wouldn't be a man, woman, or child left on Horizon, if not for you. I saved some of them. Not enough. And the Collectors will keep hitting colonies until I stop them. So you'll stop them? And here I thought it'd be difficult. You'll get the job done. You always do. I just don't know what comes next. So tell me what you want. What are you fighting for? A chance to give Miss Vaz Normandy a homeworld? Yes, but also everything else. I guess I'm fighting for us. All of us. That's a lot of responsibility. People are messy, awkward, sometimes selfish or cruel. But they're trying. And I'm gonna make sure they have a chance. I hope the galaxy proves itself worthy of the effort you're putting into saving it. I should get back to my base, but thanks for inviting me up, Shepard. Come back soon. You talk to figure out. Uh, Go on. Ah, come on. Delivery pickup. For what? Oh. I see you all. All right. Where's Farron at? Talk to Liara again in a minute. There you are. Shepard, glad you stopped by. We don't get many visitors. Take it easy. You've been through a lot. You're probably right. I never did say thanks for the rescue. Liara never gave up on you, Perrin. I just helped. I'm still amazed Liara came for me. I'll never forget what either of you did. I can log that in the archives for you, sir. I see you met the secretary. For two years, Liara didn't stop looking for you. You two must have been close. She's a good friend. Better than I deserve. How do you think Liara's doing as the new Shadow Broker? Operations are almost fully recovered after a slight dip in efficiency. Ever since we repaired the network, Liara's been glued to the archives. <laughs> I caught her sleeping at her desk more than once. She's busy, but I think she likes it that way. How are you holding up, Baron? I'm... I'll be all right. I wasn't always strapped into that interrogation chair. Drell can mentally escape into old memories. It came in handy on the bad days. How many times did the Shadow Broker hook you up to that contraption? A lot. It gets fuzzy. He made the guards watch, as an example. What will you do now that you're a free man? I want to help Liara rebuild this place. But after that... Your schedule's getting full, sir. Let me sync it to your Omni tool. No thanks, I'm fine. How did you and Liara both end up looking for my body? Cerberus headhunted me and Liara to steal your body from the Shadow Broker. I was working for the Broker at the time, and he's the one who scraped up your remains in the first place. What turned you against the Shadow Broker? He started working for the Collectors. 
You weren't their first victim. I am... was an information traitor. Not a slaver. Looks like you've made a friend. The drone follows everyone. I don't know why the broker kept it around. I'm a shell for a specialized data processing VI. Custom built to your specification, Shadow Broker. It helps coordinate the network's massive information feeds. But it could use a different interface tone. You deemed my default personality sufficient for your needs, Shadow Broker. I wish it would stop calling me that. Take it easy. <laughs> Thanks. I forgot about the video archive, too. What does this console do? This is the video surveillance access point. I've queued up the archive footage you requested on your last visit, Shadow Broker. Remember, you can zoom in for more detailed viewing and can pause any time during playback. Aria Talok, Omega. Emily Wong, Citadel. Fred Mazai, Citadel. Yeah, he's giving himself a pep talk. Donnell Udina, Citadel. What? Well, Someone should show that to whoever it is that makes him to be counselor in the next Citadel. game. Praetor Gavon. Kalisa bin Sinan Al-Jilani. Citadel. I would have expected the headbutt from him. Citadel. Matriarch Etheta. Ilium. Erdnot Torsk. Tachanka. Elias Kellum. Omega. Oi, man. Jacob That's so rude. Normandy, SR2. Subject zero. Purgatory. Ship now defunct. Aria Talok. Omega. Oh. It doesn't have the it doesn't have the one I was looking for. Anyway. Excuse me, Glyph. I know your name's not Glyph yet, but it's going to be your name. Alright. The turbo. Shepard. I'm glad you came. Uh, you don't have anything else to say? Alright, well, I'm going to leave this episode off here then. And next episode, I will move on to... Probably to stop to Arrival. DLC. And then... I'll do... After I do Arrival, then I will go and get the guy with us. In the meantime, though, thank you guys all so much for watching. Like and subscribe down below if you want to see more. Let me know what you think in the comment section. And as always, keep it real and spread the love. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!